everybody say good morning to the combine. We have a big day ahead of us. Something else that makes corn harvest so much more exciting than soybean harvest is because you can start harvesting corn. You could harvest all day, every day. Whereas soybeans, as soon as the moisture in the air comes up, you have to stop. Just going to get the combine warmed up and we're gonna go start the green cart. The combine is full. The truck that's sitting over there is full and the green cart is full. Dad is at the elevator dumping a truck right now and we hired a truck driver for the day. So the goal is just to keep everything moving constantly. I want the green cart always full and I want trucks always going to the elevator on their way. I want the combine always moving. So we're in for a busy day. Let's get the 8345R started. We're good. We change the oil pretty regularly on the tractor, so should be fine. Now let's get the truck started. Let the flag fly on top of the combine. Look at that beautiful corn. I'm so full. Can you see that? Up above me in the cab. I am overflowing. I'm overflowing. I'm going down to fill that truck at the end of the field. Let's see if my depth perception skills are any good. Dead on. Since we're just starting out, I'm gonna go a little bit slower just to kind of get the insides of the machines warmed up. And because it's still morning time, there's still like dew on everything. And so I'm just gonna wait for the sun to continue rising, the breeze to start blowing, dry things out even more. If you're wondering what happens when you tear out a little bit of corn when you're cultivating, this is what happens. So it's a shame about you losing the corn, but because now the ground is exposed to sunlight, you get a big weed patch like this, which is quite unfortunate. But you still have to keep harvesting because I'm getting some corn, but that's the end result. See here where the corn has been blocking the sunlight from the ground. There's no weeds. A lot of moving parts in this operation today. Here's a fun game I like to play. It's called uh, Guess the Guess Row. So we've got a 12 row corn head, but we plant with a 16 row planter. And so the passes don't line up. Um, so you can see right where the corn is going different directions, right there. Those are really close together. So on that side, whenever we made the 16 row pass, it was really wide. So it just means the planter wasn't quite on top of the row. It's not that big of a deal, but uh, this was an easy round of guess the guess row here. Corn harvest is really fast paced. So I, I think just... it's probably best, Laura. Once you come to the end, you need to go ahead and empty out. Copy. I just got a second to stand up. It's been about. Oops. Or just get a second. This is where a second green card. I can see. Uh, <sighs> you need to get a second green card. I haven't stood up in three or four hours. I'm hungry. It's lunchtime. Should I try to eat something quick? I think the green card's on its way. Half a peanut butter and jelly. 
all I packed this morning. Not bad. Hopefully mom comes with some food. It isn't very good. I think the bread's stale. I haven't been shopping in a long time. I've been too busy harvesting. This is great looking corn. I am super excited to see what this field yields. Good news, everybody. See that car at the end of the field? That is my lunch being delivered. I'm so hungry, I'm so excited. Do you guys see that quesadilla mom made me? So much better whenever than that stale uh, peanut butter and jelly I made myself. This is beautiful. Thank you, mom. I stepped out quick because the grain cart is not quite here yet and I'm full. And sometimes I think I forget how big of a machine this really is. I feel so small in comparison to it. Or even just in comparison to the corn itself. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just a really cool operation. It's working really well. Look at how good this corn looks. Technology is so cool. So we're tracking all of our harvest data into the cloud, like real time, um, and we can match that up with our planting data. And I just stopped the pivot moving in the field from my phone. And if I want to restart it, I can start it from my phone. It's so cool, I think. Things are going fine. Except for that row of shame. It's embarrassing. Now I have to go and pick that one row up. This is a really bad time of night for me because I am staring directly into the sun and cannot see a thing while I'm filling. I'm squinting so hard right now. And I'm trying to focus on this, but I'm also trying to just see what I'm doing. As soon as the sun has set, it gets a lot easier for me to see. And the lighting is just so pretty right now. Supper has been delivered. Waiting, cause I'm full. Grant, give me a status report on your harvest. Um, we're like officially, officially rolling on soybeans. Like we harvested all day today on main rows, not corners and stuff. So that was nice. When are you gonna move on to corn? Oh, it'll be like 10 days. So you're saying we're ahead of you? Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, excellent. Yes. You're excellent. way ahead of us. Sounds good. Well, the uh, the co-op is closed. So we sent two trucks in to dump right before they closed. And then we are going to fill the three trucks that we have here at the farm, fill the grain cart, fill the combine, then we can go home. So I'm gonna call it uh, quits on the video here. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's video, maybe even learned something. And we'll see you next time. Bye. You got it inside. How'd that happen? I don't know, Grant. How'd that happen? I wanted to see how full she was, and she is very full. Oh no! Baby track, sorry. Oh, it's all over the place. I'll, uh, I'll clean that up. Oh man, what a night. I thought I could make it. I was so close to the end.